Hey everybody, Nicole here from Hair of the Dog. Just wanted to pop in today for today's Biz Tip Thursday. And we are talking about pillows. So I don't know about you, but I have a three pillow system. <laughs> yes, three pillow system when I sleep, one for under my head, one that I hug, and then one that kind of goes over my head to block the light. And truth be told, my husband's breathing when he's facing me because I mean, who has to breathe when you sleep? <laughs> he doesn't even snore. Anyway, I told you, it's very, um, very uh, involved, three pillow system. But when I travel, that means I need some extra pillows. So today's musings are bring, brought to you by my recent trip to Yellowstone. Um, a couple of different things to talk about here. Number one is some awesome customer service. So imagine my surprise when I'm packing the night before, our flight leaves at like 9 a.m., got to get everything together. We're taking like everything under the sun because the weather is going to be everything from 35 degrees to 85 degrees and we're staying at under canvas, doing a glamping and we're staying in hotels and we're doing this and that and all the things. So I needed all the things. So anyway, I'm packing and I'm packing and I get a text and the text is from the first hotel we're staying at that says, hey, Nicole, we can't wait to have you here tomorrow. Uh, just wanted to check in and ask what time you're arriving and if you're gonna be bringing a car or if you're gonna be bringing a dog. Um, how awesome was that? Because I don't know about you, but I get a little bit nervous sometimes when I'm checking into a hotel later in the day because I worry that maybe they might give my room away or who knows. So I always get worried for that. But this we were checking in early, but I wanted to be, wouldn't it be nice if your room was ready? So I was able to respond and say, yes, we'll actually be in Bozeman by noon and um, we're coming straight downtown. So we would love to check in early if it's available. No car, no dog, can't wait to see you tomorrow. So they said, sure, we'll, we can't promise that a room will be ready, but we'll try. So we get there. Our room's ready so we could take our luggage straight up to the room and then we headed out to town to get some food. Now if it wasn't ready, it wouldn't have been a big deal. We would have just put our luggage behind the front desk, gone to lunch, come back and it would have been ready then. But um, the hotel obviously has rooms ready before three and how awesome is that that they could send out that text and kind of get a list of who expects to be checking in early so they can exceed their customers' expectations when they check in. So that was lesson number one. Lesson number two was this room was an old motel that's been um, refurbished and um, it's just a really cool place. It's called The Lark and it's in Bozeman. If you ever are in Bozeman, highly recommend it. Uh, it, was, it was a great little spot. But um, they don't have any phones in the room. And quite frankly, who really needs phones in the room because well, we all have cell phones and um, Nobody ever uses, at least I don't use those hotel phones anymore. And even when I am in a regular hotel and I have to call the front desk, four extra pillows for my three pillow system because there were four of us in the room. Um, sometimes I don't even know how to work those things anymore. You pick it up and press zero and it doesn't always turn on or, you know, maybe I'm just dating myself and getting old. But I mean, I truly used to work the rotary phones back in the day when it hung on the kitchen wall and then to the cordless phones, and then to the flip phones, and all of the phones. So you think I should be able to handle this. But no. Anyway, they made it so much easier because if you needed anything at all, you just texted that number that they texted you with to welcome you to the hotel. So I could just text and say, hey, I'm room, whatever. Um, I need some extra pillows, please. And they're like, sure thing, we'll bring it right up. It was so easy now. Had they not had this opportunity, would I have left that hotel and been like, man, that place was terrible? No, absolutely not. Would not have changed. I still would have recommended it. Still would have thought it was a great hotel. But how that one little thing causes me now to be telling you, I told other people, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was great customer service. And um, I tell so many more people. So these are the little things that we can do in our business to exceed our clients' expectations and get them talking about us because them talking about us and our experience is by far the most powerful marketing that you can have in your business. So to wrap up this Biz Tip Thursday, I have a piece of homework for you. And that is to look at your client experience and find at least one at least one place where you can make doing business with you easier or the experience a little bit more straightforward and a little bit more easy, whether that's giving clients uh, the opportunity to find out if they prefer to 
to discuss um, or to prefer to communicate with you via text or phone, giving clients the opportunity to pay via Venmo. Uh, bonus, there's no bank fees. <clears throat> Things like that that can just make the client expectation a little bit more. So that's my homework for you. Go look through your workflow, figure out if there is a place that you can make the communication between you, you and your client easier. All right, see you guys soon. Thanks for uh, hanging with me.